Yo, what's good, YouTube? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, yo, it's 7.43 in the morning, man. I mean, I'm I'm on the East Coast, you know what I mean? And I just... <laughs> yo, man, I just... I had to do... I had to do this video immediately, yo. This shit just woke me the fuck up. Yo, this is what I didn't want, man. Yeah, I just watched my dude BK Warriors one video, man. Going at Boston Watts. Uh, to the YouTube world, man, to every neutral party, to everybody outside of me, Wasp and BK Warriors, what that was that that was mostly debating this shit with Boxing Wasp. I want y'all to listen cl closely to my interpretation of this whole mess, man, because <laughs> this shit is. <laughs> <laughs> Man, yo, this this thing got completely misunderstood. <laughs> All right, yeah, let me stop laughing, yo. Let me get to let me get to business, man. All right, yo, I'm gonna give y'all. Y'all already got a rundown of what's... If you're watching this video, y'all already y'all already know what the fuck is going on. Y'all a bit up to date, but I believe if you side with either one, meaning Boxer Watts or BK Warriors 1, that you just as wrong because you, you're, you're caught up... You're listening to the to the side of somebody that, misunderstood, that already misunderstood the next person. So... Y'all got a wrong interpretation of it as well. So I'm going to give it to y'all. The pure interpretation of both videos. I didn't make a video, but I was debating. I was debating with Boxing Watch. I never made a video, though. So I'm going to give you my take. I'm going to tell you what Boxing Watch was trying to say. And I'm going to tell you what BK, what BK Warrior misunderstood. And where I think Boxing Watch said things that he didn't actually mean himself all right this video i'm gonna try to keep this video as short as i can but this i'm gonna tell you right now this video ain't gonna be short man so y'all gotta hear me out <laughs> but this shit is crazy i ain't want this to happen man so check it out boxer watch did a video explaining that he feel malcolm x what malcolm x did when he the way and the way he left the nation of islam and how he went public and talking about the wrongdoings of Elijah Muhammad, he should not have done that because it, it didn't it did no benefit to the overall movement of the nation of Islam. That was for the most part helping black people in the horrible um position black people was in the sixties. So that was Box and Watts take on it. Okay? He didn't he didn't like how Malcolm X went public saying that Elijah Muhammad bet, um, impregnated those young women. You know he could have kept he could have he could have kept that problem in house. He didn't have to go to the um to the media to say that. So my initial response to Box and Watts through the comments was Malcolm X was not wrong. Malcolm X. <clears throat> That I, I said Elijah Muhammad proved in many ways other than sleeping with those young women that he was unfit to rule the nation to um, be the leader of the nation of Islam in many ways and I explained these ways and before I even explain these ways let's get one thing clear Elijah Muhammad ain't rape shit we gotta, we gotta, we gotta get back into reality real quick. I gotta give BK Warrior a reality check and Wasp a reality check. The, the nigga ain't raped nobody. We forgetting that Elijah Muhammad was very is, is of a completely different era. Now I mean, I, I think I'm not sure if he wasn't born in the early 1900s, he was born in the late 1800s. One of the two. Now I mean, I gotta look and see. One of the two. 
Mind you, he's Muslim too. In those days, even in the Bible, you know what I mean, they there's a term they have them. I think they call them damsels or damsels, something like that. That's a young, that's like a young, beautiful woman. I think they, have, I think it qualifies as a virgin too. You know what I mean, that's like, that's like the top notch of woman to 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 that to a, a man in Elijah Muhammad's tradition in his mentality of his era. You know, that's not. How it's like we can't look at it like how we look at it today. Like, oh, word, you getting you getting seven, fifteen year old girls pregnant? No, those those were women. <laughs> I mean, whether however you look at it, whether you whether they were whether they're naive or not, women are always naive, no matter how old they are. Get the fuck out of here. They always naive. I mean, but the thing is, like if you look back. If you do a little research, don't be surprised if Elijah Muhammad's first wife was, if he got married when he was 13. That's just, that's that's his error. And with his religion. You already know that they, those, they get married when they're like 14, 15. When, when, when these, when these, um, when these Islamic radicals do those, those suicide, um, those suicide missions. They have a belief, I forgot what it's called, that they're going to paradise and they're going to have 70 virgins waiting for them. What do you think, those virgins are 30 years old? Hell no, they're like 15, 14, like young, untouched, pure girls. Like, it's not looked at how we look at it. Like, that's what I'm trying to tell you. So, there, there was no raping. He didn't rape a goddamn, he didn't rape nothing. Those those women were, were, were they were bred into Islamic belief. In Islamic belief, they're they're considered young women, and they gave they they gave themselves with honor to Elijah Muhammad. Whether they found him attractive or not, that's not the point. Like they, you gotta understand, everybody in the nation of Islam looked at this guy like a pure prophet. My problem now with Elijah Muhammad and Mal and the problems that I see that Malcolm X seen is that the guy was a hypocrite. Like he wasn't practicing, he was just preaching. So him doing that was just a slap in the face. And his other things he did, like he showed he showed a lot of elements of jealousy and envy. A lot of people don't notice. And when I said it to a boxing watch the other day, I think he just found it out himself too. I don't know if he did his research on it after I told him. But a lot of people don't know Cassius Clay, a.k.a. Muhammad Ali, that name was supposed to be given to Malcolm X. Around the time Malcolm, um, Muhammad Ali beat Sonny Liston and just announced that he was, um, yo, that like, it became official, he made it known to the world like yo I am a member of the nation of Islam because people's already speculating that yo why are you rolling with this black extremist Malcolm X we seen you in pictures with him and then you just put it out there that's around the time mind you this around like Muhammad Ali just got down with the nation of Islam not even not even more than two years I think um that's around the time there was friction between Malcolm X and Elijah Muhammad and what does Elijah Muhammad do? A little bitch move. He put this this fucking newbie who didn't do much shit for the nation of Islam yet. He gives him the name Muhammad Ali. You know? Gives him a certain status over somebody who's been devoted to the nation of Islam for years. And brought so many young members to the nation of Islam. He shitted on Malcolm X. He did that to stir up friction within the nation of Islam. Because he was jealous of Malcolm X. That's another trait that showed him unfit to be a leader. So I was explaining this stuff to Boxing Watts. Now, what I believe, <coughs> if you look at the if you look at the comments from the first video Boxing Watts did, Malcolm X was wrong. If you notice in my debate with Boxing Watts, I kept saying, "Yo, I understand what you're saying, but." I could I tell you this right now. I see that there's a conflict of interest in the shit you say. Meaning 
He had I don't know if Box for Watts is a is a part of the five percent nation. I don't know if he is a member of the nation of Islam. Or he has or he's into he has some type of affiliation. Because what he says appears real biased. Like there's a point there's points where I even point out logical things to him and he just overwrites me and says, Well, Malcolm X shouldn't have did that because what the nation of Islam was doing was working. And I'm saying to myself, what do you mean by it was, it was working? A snow, The snowball effect was going to destroy the nation of Islam regardless. Now what I mean? Even if it was working at the time. It's just like a car. If the car has no oil, it's going to run. It's not going to just stop running immediately. It's going to run for a little while. But once that engine and the transmission knock... It's a wrap for that car. It don't, that, and it don't matter what kind of car it is. That could have been a Hoopty or S-Class Benz. Once that transmission knock, the car is done. You could you could junk it and strip it for parts now. That, that car is, is a wrap for that car. Because the snowball effect of you driving it on no oil was causing serious damage to the engine until it knocked. And there is no repairing no more. That's it. So, for him to say the na what the nation of Islam was doing was working, it was just going to be temporary. Come on, the leader is, he, he's showing, the, he, who's supposed to be a pure prophet, is showing all these basic ass emotions of the typical dude on the street. You know, having temptation to fuck all these women. Um, resulting to murder. Showing, showing, um, showing evidence of jealousy. What, like, what was different between him and the average dude on the street? You know, that's why I say Elijah Muhammad proved himself unfit to be a leader, and Malcolm X just chose to go public with the, with the um, the sex with the little with the young girls because. Who knows? That's probably just what he felt he could get some 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 people to side with him. But trust me, there was way more than that. Stuff that he didn't want to say. So we can't say that he betrayed the nation of Islam because if he was to go all out, it would have been a whole lot worse. And they still killed his ass. So what is he betraying? Like, another example I want to point out there. You know sometimes you got a friend or you got somebody that you thought was your friend. And you and that person get into an argument over something. Probably something not even so serious. Probably a couple of dollars or something. And this person says something to you that you couldn't believe was even said to you. Like, let's say it's somebody you thought was your friend. You know them. You loan him a stack. You loan him a thousand dollars, and he's supposed to get that shit back to you by Saturday. Saturday comes, he giving you the runaround. Sunday comes, he not picking up his phone. You don't, you don't get to speak to him till Wednesday. You finally speak to him Wednesday. You say, Yo, it's good, man. I, I loan you that bread. I need that back now. You like, Yo, man, I don't got it right now, son. Yo, leave me the fuck alone, son, before I do something to you. <laughs> And you just say to yourself, like, what the fuck did you just say to me, son? You know? That's what you say to yourself, like, do what? To me? Like, what do you even mean, son? It's not to even say that you're scared of him. You're just more shocked that this person even went to that level. Like, I can't believe that. You, 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 threat, you basically just threatened me, son? That's how Malcolm X felt with this Elijah cat. You know, you find out, you find out he he on some bullshit. You tell him about himself, and the niggas he says something that's so left that it just blew your mind. That yo, I've been I've been fucking gi giving you praise faithfully. I've been I put you on a pedestal right next to God. That's how Muhammad, that's how Malcolm X looked at this fucker. Right next to God. If not God himself. Right next to the motherfucker. Because the, the, the dude claimed to be. 
part of God. He, he came to be like a demigod, like, yo, I am sent, I am a prophet. That's what prophets are, like, they, they're demigods, they, they're not regular people, they're chosen ones. You know what I mean? And to have this guy say these things to you or move this way on you. Just he just he just reveals that he's so fucking human. It's heartbreaking. It's really heartbreaking, you know. It can make a grown ass man cry. Like the shit is really heartbreaking, man. So that's why Malcolm X went about it the way he went about it. He was heartbroken. He was disappointed. He didn't want to affiliate himself with no fake ass people. I mean, he knows he knows about being fake. He knows he, he used to deal with fake people all the time, being being um a little street hustler and all that. He changed. He thought he changed his life for the better, but just to realize it's the same old shit, just in another form. So I asked myself, I asked Boxer Watts, really, what the fuck was working? This is this is just deceit. It doesn't matter what color the deceit is coming from. That's the problem. That's the problem that Malcolm X thought he had with white people. They deceive us. He ain't think motherfuckers in the NOI was going to de deceive him too. You know? That's why after the, after that he started reaching out to um, Muslims of all of all races because it wasn't about the color; it was about who was loyal. At the end of the day, because it was proven to him, oh the shit, the skin color shit really don't mean much. It's who's loyal and who's not. So you criticizing him, fucking with white Muslims or or Arabic Muslims, has nothing to do with it. It's been proven to him at the highest level of trust. That he could be betrayed. This black skin shit means nothing. If Elijah Muhammad could do this shit to me. Anybody could do this shit to me. This nigga was closer to Elijah Muhammad. I had more faith in Elijah Muhammad. Than he had in his fucking family. Than anybody. And for that person to just be proven. As a piece of shit. You could imagine how this dude. How, how, his, how his values of trust was rattled after that. You know, he, yeah, he probably wasn't really trusting much people at all. So that shit just made him open. Like, fuck it. Whoever shows me they loyal, that's who I'm riding with. And he still kept it real. He still said, yo, I'll take money from white from white supporters, but I, I will not allow y'all to participate in my movement. So what the... So I, I was just saying to myself, what the fuck is your problem with that? The only problem that you can have with that is if you have a conflict of interest. If you are affiliated to Elijah Muhammad, if you are affiliated with the new nation of Islam, or if you are part of the 5% nation, or some type of Muslim nation or something, or you, or you just a real follower of the old teachings of Elijah Muhammad. So, I believe... I watch I watch boxer watch videos a lot, man. I watch a lot of his videos. I got a lot of respect for this dude. Know what I mean, so that's why I'm not even gonna get caught up in the whole video that BK Warriors just did, because I feel boxer watch said something that he didn't actually mean, and I feel BK Warriors responded to that. Cause I watch, like I said, I watch this dude videos. And Boxer Watts, he's similar to me in a lot of ways. But he's just more radical. I, I look at him as being more, a little bit more radical, you know, than I am. I'm more trying to do this shit in a, in a, civil, in a more civilized way. He, he's a bit more radical with his words. Boxer Watts showed me throughout his, watching his videos that he's really trying to defeat white oppression by all means. And I, when I say that, I believe he got carried away. I believe he gets carried away in the shit he say. And his emotions. He gets caught up in his emotions too. Like he's so fucking hell bent on defeating white oppression. That he's, he's literally doing it by any means. So when he says, yo, if... 
if I was in the nation of Islam and Elijah wanted my daughter, I would not I would not have that as the as the cause to me bringing down the nation of Islam because I do not want to affect the movement. I believe he's so he's so bent on this on just taking this white oppression away. He's he's even willing to sacrifice his little daughter. And maybe and and mind you, he probably look at it he probably looks at it just like I said. So it really isn't sacrificing as much as it, it it comes off with modern thinking, you know. He probably looks at it just like how I was saying before, you know, like a 15 year old girl in that tradition in that religion is a fucking grown ass prime woman. That's like the best pussy you could have in that in that tradition. Young, fifteen, and virgin and untouched. At the end of the day, I don't have no daughters. And to any of y'all that do have daughters, don't you want your daughter to be with a man that you have a lot of respect for? Like we men at the end of the day, we're not judging men by how they look. When when you when your daughter when your daughter brings home a, a, a man, you don't judge him by if you're attracted to him. Like if you find him physically attractive. You want to see where this dude's head is at. Know what I mean? You want to see where his head is at. Like, yo, is this dude a stand-up guy? Is he a coward? Could, could, can he protect my daughter? Can he provide for my daughter? Know what I mean? I don't have a daughter. But that's... when when she when I, If I do have one one day and she brings some dude... Home, that's the that's the um qualities I'm looking for. He could be some fat dude, he could be some short dude. It doesn't matter how he look. So saying that Elijah Muhammad is old and all that, that's irrelevant. Because the level of respect, we all know what makes yo, we men at the end of the day, we all know what makes pussy wet at the end of the day. Respect. When a shorty respect you. She'll do anything for you. When she have that high level of respect for you, she'll do anything for you. Anything. Nobody could disrespect you in that woman presence. She'll fight for you. She'll fight to defend your name. So, I say this to BK Warriors 1 and Wasp. And I think Wasp already had this understanding, so I'm not going to include Wasp. I'm just going to say it to BK Warriors 1. This is what I think Wasp was saying. I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. Because I'll tell you, I listen to this guy's videos. And I don't look at him like an asshole that would just give his daughter to some fucking child molester. Because the dude is not a child molester. That's what I'm trying to tell you. He's not. A, he, th those were not children. Those were women. Those were women in his eyes. Wo like women at their best stage. Like he didn't, he didn't feel like he's losing like he's. Bringing down his standards, fucking with those young women. That's like the top of the line woman in his eyes. So, I say this with the amount of respect that the people of the nation of Islam had for Elijah Muhammad. It was not no biggie if Elijah Muhammad wanted their daughter to have relations with. Then people probably looked at that shit as an honor. As a fucking honor. Now, whether he took care of those kids or treated those ladies nice afterwards, after he had sex with them, that has nothing to do with it. Know what I mean? Because the fact is, he didn't he didn't rape nothing. In modern day Western civilization society, that's considered statutory rape and all the above. But like I said, Elijah Muhammad is nothing. Of this of today's society, this dude is an old timer, an old time, and he had old timer morals and values that does not that that we don't that we don't abide by today. That's probably why he used people like Farrakhan and Malcolm X to speak his word because he could not relate to the young people at all. He didn't look young. He wasn't young. He didn't think young. He couldn't attract young people like that. I mean, sometimes you gotta open. So say y'all, y'all, 
Yeah, I gotta process shit better, man. That's one. I think that's like one of my best gifts I have, man. I could process shit real good, man. Know what I mean? It don't. It doesn't have to be. I don't need the whole alphabet to know the whole entire alphabet. Now I mean, you could just tell me A B C. I'll continue with D E D E F G H I J. Know what I mean? And so on. Like I could process shit real good. You don't need you don't need to tell me the whole story, you know what I mean? All I, I mean, you give me a sample, I'm trying to dissect that shit and read between the lines, you know what I mean? But that's the problem some people have. They do not know how to put they do not know how to use words properly. You know what I mean? That's probably the problem Elijah Muhammad had. He probably didn't know how to use words probably. Pro- probably. So he needed people like Malcolm X and Farrakhan and shit. You know what I mean? But I just wanted to explain that, man, because I think both both of y'all misunderstood each other, and both of y'all never explained yourselves clearly. So I'm gonna put it like that. I don't look at Watts as a dude that would give up his daughter. He just he just didn't explain himself clearly. You know what I mean, I'm just gonna give him the benefit of the doubt, and I hope he reached back to me and explained himself clearly to me. I mean, cause I don't, I don't believe that. That that just doesn't add up to me. I mean, out of all the videos I've seen this dude make, it just is a real. It just don't, it don't add up. That's not the guy I was listening to that would say some shit like that and mean it just like that. I think he meant it in the way I just explained it. I mean, I don't think he meant it like yo. Yo, man, if we got this, if we got this group and and everything going all right, yo, this nigga want, this nigga want to turn my little, my little son around and fuck him in his ass, yo. He could do that, yo. I turn, I turn the other cheek, yo. It ain't nothing. I don't think he meant that, man. You know, it just, it just came off that way because, like I said, he, he probably blinded by the frustration of white oppression, and he just said things that came off that way. And it sounds like, yo, he that extreme with it. Like, yo, fuck it. He'll just sacrifice his daughter. But I don't believe that. I mean, I don't believe that one second. I mean, so I just wanted to make this video directly to Boxer Watts and BK Warriors 1. Know what I mean, and give my take on this shit. Because I believe one dude basically misunderstood. Basically said, basically said things he didn't mean, and the other guy misunderstood. <laughs> the other guy got that interpretation and just went off, man. That's what I think that was all about, man. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't want us warring on this shit. Man. I want us to be on the same side, man. I mean, and if we can't be on the same side, let it be clear why we're not on the same side. Don't make it be through misunderstanding. I mean, so I'm really looking forward to Boxer Watts clearing, clearing the air because right now, with with the video BK Warriors just made, if somebody just listened to that video without listening to Watts' video, they could really have a fucked up opinion about this dude Boxer Watts. I mean, because trust me, that's like the most lowest. BK Warriors basically made this nigga look like the most lowest piece of shit you could be. In society, a nigga that just would just, yo, know, like a selfish, fucked up nigga that would just give his daughter away for bread. You know, they got people that do that. They got people that sell their kids, like out there in the Philippines and all that shit. They do that, man. They sell their kids, man, for money, man. Know what I mean, yo, I'm not even, if I'm lying, I'm flying. They sell their kids, man. They got people that do that, have babies and sell them for money. Into, into the sex trade and all that shit. I mean, I, I you know, Boxer, Boxer Watts is the guy that exposed that to me. That this shit is going on in the world. So for to say he's doing it, I think BK Warriors forgot that. You know what I mean? This nigga's the one that exposed that shit. So it's real crazy to say he does it without having a full understanding of what he was trying to say. So... 
I mean, I'm going to wrap it up right there, man. I just wanted to give my take on this shit. I don't know how long this video is, man. I, I told y'all it was going to be kind of long, man. But I'm going to wrap it up right there, yo. Y'all holla at me, man. I hope to hear from both of y'all. BK Warriors 1 and Boxer Wasp. <laughs> All right, yo. Y'all take it easy, yo. What?